Hello, my name is Patricio Gonzalez Vivo, the author of GLSL Dealer, the Book of Shaders, and Pixel Spirit Deck. And I want to talk about my favorite tool, GLSL Viewer. I have been working on it for a long time, and I use it every day uh, for a lot of tasks. And I want to tell you and kind of and show you how I use it and what it's made for. First of all, it's a console-based GLSL sandbox for working with 2D and 3D shaders. That means that it doesn't have a UI and prob it's totally agnostic of the editor that you have. Uh, it's built up more as an engine and, and less as a, of an editing tool. Um, you, that because it leaves open the, the ability for you to change it and edit your shaders using whatever editor you prefer. In my case, I'm going to be working with Visual Code uh, but in the which is now the one that I, I choose, but uh, when I'm in the Raspberry Pi, for example, I use Vim, and in the past I used to use Sublime Text. So um, this kind of like format and architecture really separates the workflow for the engine from the editor that I choose. Second, I want to address that uh, when I said 2D and, and 3D, uh, I mean that it could be like a shader toy, I can like work in 2D shaders, uh, and also I can load geometry and that's where I use it more um, to edit materials and kind of like craft uh, shaders apply to a geometry. Uh, on the geometries that it supports, you will find that it has support for PLYs, OBJs and GLTFs. Um, all the files that you drop to uh, GLSL Viewer are going to be hot reload. That means that when you change something and when you edit on it, it will um, GLSL Viewer will pick up the change and uh, will reload it for you, including textures, for example. If you change the textures, it will change. So you, this allows you to um, iterate very fast. Uh, a second important thing that I want to mention is that it, you, it uses commands. So the console in becomes like a com command prompt and you can send these commands um, to GeoSol Viewer to do different tasks. For example, recording, uh, here you have a video, recording a PNG sequence or changing the camera position or the, a light position or some properties, turning the fines on and off or specifying the uh, um, specific define or the values of uniforms. All that it can be done um, in the con comments and also uh, it can be done um, through o o OSC so you can do it over the network. Um, these comments are going to be formatted in a comment separated value way, in a CSV way which is give us a lot of flexibility because you can um, construct it in a in a Unix way. You can pipe it and send data and or, or change uniforms over time um, using Netcat or something else. So it gives us a lot of room for flexibility, and uh, I was very interested in that from the beginning. Um, so. Thank you for listening. Uh, I'm going to be posting more videos about how I use GLSL Viewer I, and I hope um, you, you get interested. If you want to install it, go to GitHub, Patricio Gonzalez Vivo, GLSL Viewer. Um, there's some explanations there how to compile it. It compiles on Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, it runs really fast because it's very lightweight. So you can like, I, I use it all the times in my Raspberry Pi, for example. Uh, so you don't need much to try it. You, with a $5 computer, you're ready to go and ready to learn GLO cells, uh, shaders, and the exciting world of computer graphics. Thank you. Bye.